Big Cartel Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Big Cartel and how you can use it to make money online. Now, before I begin with the video, I would like to say that if you want to, you know, sign up onto Big Cartel, there is a link in the description provided. So go check it out and sign up onto Big Cartel. So now that that's out of the way, let's jump into the video. So first off, this is the website right here. As you can see, this is how it looks like. And over here at the top, we have a couple of different things that we can check out. But for now, I just want to focus on the main part of this video. Now, for those of you who don't know what Big Cartel is, it's basically an easy online store that can help you make uh, print-on-demand products or if you have your own manufactured products, you can sell them online as well. And they can even help you build a website, a store, and all of your creative, and you can sell all of your creative work on it as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create an account. And the sign up process is very simple. All you have to do is click on the sign up button over here at the top right corner. And once you do that, it takes you over to this part of the website where they show you have three plans. So we have a free plan, we have a paid plan, we have one free plan, and we have two paid plans. So in the free plan, we get a couple of different options. So we get like one image per product, free customizable themes, sell online and in person, real time stats, use a custom domain, offer discounts, shipment, product options, sale tax and stuff like that. And within the platinum one, we have five images, free customizable themes, sell online and all of the stuff that we had over there, including Google Analytics, inventory tracking, bulk editing, shipping tracking, product options, sale tax, theme codings and and real time stats as well as you can see over here and the same one goes with the uh, diamond one they have a lot of ones but i don't think that we're going to need them so in the free plan we can only have five products in the in the platinum plan we can have 50 products so for now i'm just going to go ahead and sign up with the gold one so just free plan that, so that you can understand what it is all about so i'm going to go ahead and click on sign up and over here all you have to do is enter in your email address your password your shop name and your shop url which can which is auto generated so and for the password just simply enter in a password and over here you can enter in your shop name so i'm going to go ahead and enter in math so the url is very short so we're going to go with it's now available so max johnson i don't know if that spelling is correct so I'm going to go with Max Johnson. And as you can see, the URL has been created at down below. This is going to be our URL. So just simply click on sign up and there you go. Now you have signed up onto Big Cartel and right in front of you, this is going to be your dashboard. You have your checklist over here, which is good. We can follow this checklist and do all of the steps one by one. So we have add your location, add a product, explore shipping profile, connect payment processors, design your shop and launch your shop. Let's go ahead and continue. So first off, we have add your location. So we're going to go ahead and add our location. So in here we have our profile and over here we can add our address, time zone, currency and stuff like that. So over here, as you can see, we have our address over here. Let's go ahead and edit the uh, location. Then next, just simply, you know, choose your own uh, timeline, your, you know, time zone, whichever one you are. And then you can choose your currency as well. Then just simply verify that our address and there you go. Your address has now been set. The next thing that we can do is set up our payment options. Let's go ahead and set our payment options. So we have two options in front of us. So we have Stripe and we have PayPal. Uh, unfortunately, both of them don't work in my country. So we're just going to skip that for now. But it's very easy. All you have to do is just simply enter in your email address. And there you go. Boom. Unfortunately, I can't do that. And then we have your, our billings, which is our plans and stuff like that. And then we have our, sh you know, shipping. Let's go ahead and edit that as well. So over here, we will have our default shipping rates. Then we have our shipping profiles and uh, we can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and set up the default shipping rates. And over here, we can be like, you know, the standard delivery. I don't know if that's the correct one or not. For the next day, it can be like $8. And for the custom pickup, we'll just go with, since it's custom pickup, we don't want to offer a lot. We'll just go with, okay, I think I messed it up. We should have put five over here and then down below yeah okay five here and then 10 at the custom uh point i think that's pretty much it okay zone can't be blank so we have to select the country zone okay click on save there we go now we ha can add uh, the product shipping profile as well okay, so we already have that so we're not gonna bother with that we're just gonna leave that at there too many you know options in front of us now let's go back to the account back to our dashboard over here 
and now we can add a product so let's go ahead and add a product so over here as you can see you have two options in front of one you can add a product or you can import a product now what that means is that if you already have a website or a online store somewhere you can go ahead and import all of those products here as well or you can just simply go ahead and click on add a product so to create a new product so i'm going to go ahead and do that and over here you can add in the product name then you have the description the categories the status the price and then you have like shipping tax and tax code and stuff like that so first i'm going to go ahead and add the product name which is going to be a turtle then i'm going to go ahead and in the description i'm going to say it's a turtle and for the price i'm going to go with like ten dollars no ten dollars is a little high so i'm going to go with five it's just a png and stuff like that then in the category i'm going to go we have to manage the category as well so we'll just say it's on sale as well and now we just go ahead and add the image of our product yeah let's just say that that's it let's just say that we are selling in the sofa okay so i changed my mind i think this looks much much better so we'll just say sofa and it's a sofa i mean you can write other things as well but i'm just you know showing you a detail a tutorial so that you guys can understand so now we'll just say like it's worth 50 dollars or whatever on sale yeah and then we'll just go with yeah then we can go ahead and add individual options as well or add group options but if not then we can add in the shipping address and the ux tax code and stuff like that once we have added all of those things we can go ahead and click on save and our product has been added yes now we can go back to our dashboard and now as we can see we have our product shipping and stuff like that can connect our, my pioneer my payment processors for now we'll do that later and next we can design our shop so let's go ahead and design our shop and over here as you can see this is how it will look like it's pretty simple right we can go ahead and edit our shop over here and we can design our shop as well so let's go ahead and design it actually so right now this is how it looks like so we have this product in front of us and then we have like nothing we just have our top and stuff like that we don't have any images or stuff like that let's go ahead and select uh so let's go ahead and add some images as well or we can change the background of it as well so next all we have to do is design our website we can go ahead and add a header image repeating background image you know slideshows and stuff like that now to do that we can go over to this website called canva.com and we can go ahead and download some of the posts from here so let's just go over here and search for website search for website as you can see educational website portfolio and we have all these types of different websites that we have over here so let's go ahead and click on you know uh real estate type of website yeah let's go with real estate so over here as you can see we have all these different images right so we click over here we can see we have a main background we can have a header and stuff like that so let's go ahead and download some of these images over here we can go ahead and change the names as well which is pretty cool so i'm just gonna go ahead and download some of these images you know and that's basically it you know okay no i want to try canva free and we have our image downloaded let's go ahead and download this one as well so we'll go ahead and download this image yes no, no not as a png as a jpeg i didn't download that i think we downloaded this as a jpeg as well so we'll just go ahead and re-download it yeah we don't we should download it as a jpeg we downloaded it as a png so re-download that and once more like this one i think this would look pretty cool so let's go ahead and download this one as well we'll just save that click on download there we go and now we can go back to our website and we can go ahead and start out uploading our you know backgrounds so we had this one so okay that looks pretty small that that's pretty small we'll just go ahead and delete that yeah that does not look good at all so we'll just delete that okay what about the background can we you know do that one as well okay it does okay what is going on why does it look like that 200 pixels by 200 pixels is recommended okay so maybe we should download that image in that resolution as well so let's go ahead and download this one 200 by 200 it's already 13 by oh it's pretty high okay so we can't download this image but you generally get the idea right like you just simply have to download it so you can go ahead and change the background as well so over here we can change the color of the background we can change it to anything what about something like red the wood red look good let's see okay yeah it's 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 too much red yeah we don't like red we'll go with something minimalistic like blue 
yeah blue looks pretty decent but the image the text image you know that's all black so we'll just change it to white there we go much much better secondary as well we'll change the secondary to red because it's on sale right there we go and yeah i think that's basically it I, that's how you can you know edit it out for yourself it's pretty simple and then you can go ahead and click on publish and you can publish the website for yourself now we can go ahead and exit it and now we have already designed it so now let's go ahead and click on edit your shop info over here you have your shop info that you can add so we'll just keep it like that and once we have done that let's go back over onto our dashboard and let's just go ahead and launch our shop yes launch our shop there you go our shop has been launched and go over to our shop as well we can go ahead and share the this link to all of these on facebook on twitter and via email as well so i think it's pretty nice so right now as you can see the shop has been launched but we have zero analytics because we have no buyers but you get the point right so it's pretty simple it's really easy to use as you can see i just created a shop added a product in front of you in less than like what 10 minutes 15 minutes less than 15 minutes and it was it was really really easy so that is it for this video guys and uh, i do want to mention that if you want to you know sign up onto this website check out the link in the description you can easily sign up onto it so having said that if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below i'll be sure to answer them as well and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye